Hello and welcome to my video. Today we're going to be discussing why you should not purchase a cheap department store telescope. Now I know, especially during this time of the year, which is you know ramping up to Christmas, Black Friday, all of that, that you see these great deals for uh, beginner telescopes and you want to uh, grab one to give to your niece, nephew, kid, whatever. And they seem so inexpensive that you think it's really hard to go wrong. Well, that's not true. The reason for that is the telescope that you purchase can be so cheap that it actually kills their interest in astronomy completely. That's why a lot of these things wind up on Craigslist and eBay and garage sales for next to nothing because uh, the person will go out, they'll try and use it for, for half an hour to an hour. You might get an ooh and an ah uh, when they look at the moon or something. And then it's just going to be so frustrating that they're going to throw it in the garage or put it in the closet or, or strip it down and put it under their bed and they're never going to use it again. Now, you may think, okay, fine, but I only spent $20, $30, $40 on this thing, so if I get an hour or two of, and a couple of oohs and ahs, then it'll be worth it. Well, okay, but spending a little bit more money might actually foster an interest in astronomy and really move that child, young adult, or whoever uh, along with a, a passion for astronomy or astrophotography and you know just nipping it in the bud and, and killing it with the first thing you buy them I don't really think is doing much of a service so let's get specific let's not just lecture but let's actually talk about why so I went and picked up this little guy right here and this guy goes for, I think, $30 normally, and I found it on sale for, for $20. Now I'll get some close-ups of the box so that we can uh, look at it a little better. Shows a picture of the telescope. Talks about it. It's uh, 60x and 120x, which is really irrelevant. We'll get to that in a minute. Then it talks about, uh, it's got interchangeable eyepiece lenses, the finder scope to locate objects fast. It's a durable design and it's lightweight construction and that's actually an understatement. Then it shows cool little pictures over here. And the first thing I want to bring your attention to is none of these are even remotely close to what you're going to see through this telescope. Not, not even fuzzy versions or dim versions of these. First off, you can't do this at all because you need a, a, a specific filter unless you are good enough that you're going to look at the split second that that is in totality and then turn away. And nobody actually does that. So you need a solar filter for that. I've got thousands and thousands of dollars worth of uh, telescopes and none of them will give me a picture like that, period. Now, I can hook up a camera and do a whole lot of processing with thousands of dollars more software and cameras and all this other stuff and get that image, sure. But looking through a telescope and seeing that, no. This one, okay, that's reasonably realistic, but not really. This is a lot sharper, a lot prettier picture than what you're actually going to see. But you can at least get some semblance of this. Now, the other things that really get me are, when you look at the back, it starts talking about all the different pieces of, of the, uh, the telescope that you're going to get. And one of the things that just does it for me, this is not something you want to deal with because they don't even know the proper terms to label their own instrument. That's kind of scary. So let's look a little closer at what actually comes in the box. So you open it up. And you have the telescope tube here. You have the tripod, so to speak, here. Two eyepieces, the diagonal, and you have the finder scope. Now, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the finder scope. I literally have pens bigger than this, writing pens. It's, this is just insane. You cannot see through this. I mean, okay, technically I can see through it, 
but what I see is no more magnified than if I had a hollow tube and it's more distorted and darker. So I literally can see better without this than I can with it. So that is there for absolutely nothing except to make the picture look cool. All right. Now, next thing is, let's look at the eyepieces. These eyepieces, there's two of them. Come in a little case, that's kind of cool. First thing you notice is, wait a minute, this is awful cheap plastic. What's up with this? I, I mean, it's just the whole thing. It's shiny like metal, but it's not. It's plastic. Okay. Let's look at the other one here. And there's the other one. And it, too, is cheap plastic. And normally, you have marked on here in clear uh, type what they are. And in this case, you don't. You have to look really, really, really close right here, which you're not going to be able to see. One of these is a 6 millimeter, and one of these is a 10, is what it says. Now, to give you an idea, <clears throat> these eyepieces, you can't upgrade. Because normally, uh, with a telescope, if you don't like the eyepieces that come with it, you can upgrade the eyepieces and you're done. The problem with this is, let's take this low-power eyepiece right here and compare it to a low-power eyepiece right here. Now, before you all freak out and say... Well, of course, but I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on an eyepiece. No, this is a $50 uh, Orion Sirius Puzzle 25mm. And you can get much cheaper versions of this that are still pretty good. Um, if, if you go with Ghost Guy or something like that, you can get this for down like $15. All right? So we're not talking a whole lot of money. And what the epitome of this is just... Look, that fits inside. I mean, come on, really? And this is all metal. It's got a nice rubber eye cup. So that when you look at it, especially with glasses, uh, this does not, this is plastic. It looks like an eye cup, but it's not. Click, click, click. All right. So you can't upgrade the eyepieces. The eyepieces are absolute garbage. And saying that this thing will get 120X is, sure, that's kind of like saying winning the lottery. It's theoretically possible, but not in my lifetime. Um, getting 60X out of this is on a good night uh, if everything's perfect. Now, the other problem you have is the tripod on this thing. This is the tripod. And <laughs> it doesn't get really high, but for a kid, I guess that's okay. But this thing is so flimsy. I mean, look at this. Really? I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm actually flexing this thing. And it's all held together with rivets in plastic. And what this means is, aside from the fact that it sounds like it's breaking every time you use it, what this means is that this little thing here is so unstable and will wobble so much with this telescope on it that any view that you get, even of the moon, just wide field, is going to be so bouncing around and wobbly that whoever's using this is just going to be completely frustrated. It's, it's not a matter of don't touch it. It's a matter of don't get near it, don't breathe on it, don't look at it, and hope to heck the grass isn't moving underneath it because it'll go all over the place. The telescope tube itself is this nice piece of aluminum. Oh, no, it's plastic. Just like everything else in this kit, it's all molded plastic. The lenses are plastic. Everything's plastic. Now, these, I think, are actually metal. Um, the little screw here is probably actually metal. But, I mean, that wobbles. That, <laughs> this is a joke. So, there is nothing, absolutely nothing in this kit worth using uh, at all. And all you're going to do is make whoever uses it frustrated and want to say, no, I can't do astronomy. Yeah, And I'm not talking about 
you've got to go out and spend $1,000 on a telescope. I'm talking about don't spend $20 to $50 in a department store because you're going to be frustrated. Go get something like a $75 to $100 telescope, and some of those you can find in department stores, and get it by a name brand like Celestron or Mead or Orion or somebody like that. And at least that will give you enough bang for your buck that they can actually see some stuff and not think that they need glasses immediately. Um, and that's pretty much the best advice I can give. You don't need to spend a fortune. You just need to spend enough to get a quality, small component. One of the uh, fun ways I like to compare this for people is... I hear a lot of people say, well, I don't need a professional telescope. My son, daughter, niece, nephew, whoever, uh, just wants to look at a couple of things in the night sky and see if they're interested. So I don't really need to spend a lot of money. Well, and, and that's true. But there's a difference between not spending a lot of money and not spending near enough. Good example. Let's say my kid is going to go out for, for Little League um, and he wants to play baseball. That's what he wants to do. He, he doesn't want to do it professionally. He just wants something to do after school and have fun with friends, etc., etc. So I, instead of going out and spending the money on a, on a good wooden or aluminum bat, I buy him a piece of uh, cardboard tube and let him play with that. Yeah, that, that seems ridiculous, doesn't it? But that's about the same thing. He will never, ever get to bat because he doesn't have a real bat. So even if he did hit the ball, it wouldn't go anywhere. He'd be immediately out. He'd be frustrated. And sure, that seems ridiculous because, you know, who in their right mind is going to go out and play baseball with a piece of cardboard as a bat? Same thing. This is not in anybody's right mind. And this isn't going to do anything except frustrate them and not allow them to do anything. So please, no matter where you get it, whether it's off Craigslist, eBay, Amazon, no matter where you get it, get something at least $75 to $100 foster their interest in science and technology, um, get them interested in, in the way the world and the universe works, and uh, hopefully that will uh, live with them for the rest of their lives. So, hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you do think so, be sure and subscribe below uh, and look at my other videos, and clear skies.